Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,220. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1,218 to 1,220 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have a column of feet. And instead of having the individual values, any one of these values that is equal to or less than 8 feet has to be recorded as 5 feet 6 inches. Anything greater than 8 has to be recorded as 6 feet. Now, the point of this video, or one of the points of this video, is, is that if we were to use the if function, notice we're going to have to put some text into the cell that has a double quote. And any text that goes into a formula has to be contained into double quotes. So that causes a unique problem. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can do it with the if function and the VLOOKUP where we wouldn't run into that problem. All right, I'm going to start with the if. And really, we're, we have one of two things that go into the cell. And we have a logical test, the hurdle of 8 feet. So that's the perfect use for the if function. Now we need a logical test. I'm going to start off by saying, hey, relative cell reference are you greater than 8 feet? So that will be our logical test, true or false, comma. The value if true, well, that means it's greater than 8 feet. Then I want in double quotes, 6, and then single apostrophe, in double quotes. Now, all we're dumping into the cell is two characters, 6 and apostrophe. Any text, if it's in a formula, has to be in double quotes. So that one's good. Comma. It's this next one that causes troubles. Double quote, 5, single apostrophe, 6, and then double quote. That is for our inches. Now, if we were to double quote four characters, right, housed in double quotes, you'd think it would work. Close parentheses and Control Enter. Uh, never, I never believe these. It's trying to suggest something. I always click no because it very rarely suggests the right thing. And then we get this message here. You have to click OK and then fix it yourself. The trick is very simple. You have to put an extra double quotes. So even though our text is going to be four characters, double quote at the beginning, but two double quotes at the end. That'll do it. Control Enter. And that'll be our trick. Double click and send it down for getting a double quotes inside of our text string. Now, another way we could do this instead of hard coding the values right into our formula and having to deal with double quote, double quote, is we could simply type our values right into the cell. So 5 feet 6 inches and 6 feet. Now, I'm going to use VLOOKUP. But we have to think about how to get this to work. Our hurdle was. 8, right? So any number associated with 5 foot 6 inches has to be from 0 all the way up to, but not including, 8.1 inches. So I'm going to put a 0 here. And as soon as I type 8.1 here, if I use VLOOKUP for an approximate match, everything that's 0 up to 8 feet will get 5 foot 6 inches. Anything that's 8.1 1 feet and above will get 6 feet. Now you could put whatever, what decimal you need to put here, but it looks like we are using tenths here. All right, now we can simply use VLOOKUP. One thing about using VLOOKUP, though, we're going to use approximate match. The first column have to be sorted from smallest to biggest, which they are. We click in cell C2 equals VLOOKUP. Now, VLOOKUP requires a value that we can look up. So we're going to look up the feet, comma. The table array, we simply highlight first column and second column. And I need to lock it with the F4 key because I'm copying this formula down. I need it locked on that table, comma. The column index number. We need to tell VLOOKUP which one of these columns, 1 or 2, has the thing we want to go and get and bring back to the cell. Well, it's the 1, 2, second column. So I simply type a 2, comma. And then we're doing approximate match, not exact match. And guess what? This screen tip right here, range lookup, has square brackets. That means if you know the default, you do not have to put this argument in. So I'm going to backspace because I know that the default for VLOOKUP is approximate match. I do not have to put it in. It will assume approximate match. Close parentheses, Control-Enter. 
double click and send it down. So here, we didn't have to mess around because this is just four characters in the cell and the VLOOKUP. It looked up eight. It raced through the first column, found the first bigger one, jumped back, so it knew to go get that five feet six inches. Not only that, but using this VLOOKUP and our numbers in the cell is great because if we change and this all of a sudden becomes four, then instantly everything updates. And we could change any one of these inputs. All right, so if function, if you have to put a double quote into a text string in a formula, use two double quotes at the end. Or we can just use VLOOKUP. All right, we'll see you next trick.